Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Today's episode is going to be the topic of MGTOW and monogamy. So if you are new here, the Man Corps is a community that is built for men who are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover three topics here at the Man Corps. That is masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, as I said at the top, today's video is going to be around MGTOW and monogamy. So if that is a topic, or if MGTOW is a topic rather that uh, is new to you, um, let me introduce it to you briefly. Uh, the acronym MGTOW is M-G-T-O-W. The acronym is men going their own way. And the other coin term for it is, is the red pill community. Um, another one that you'll, you might hear is MRA or a men's rights activist. So, uh, those are, those are three of the most common, but, um, really what the, uh, the whole, the whole plot or the whole idea around MGTOW is men deciding to go their own way opposite of marriage, opposite of relationship, opposite of so many things that I think just were, were, were so used to seeing, hearing, growing up, um, and, and being around and being socially conditioned to, to think that, uh, is normal. And what, what inspired me to do this video was something that happens a lot. It's, you know, I'm 35 now and a lot of people ask me why I'm still single. And, um, I often to be totally transparent, I wonder that sometimes myself. Um, and it's, it's a, it's a thought that I'm at odds with primarily because it is in conflict with what I grew up thinking that I was going to do. Now, this video will not be me selling MGTOW on you. It will not be me projecting what I think that you should do. Um, every man for himself, every man should choose for himself. Um, I do a lot of videos around men listening to their own internal voice. So uh, take the information that I'm going to share with you today um, and make your own choice. Um, when I found out about a lot of the things that were, were going on uh, and found out about a lot of the things that disproportionately affect men uh, as it relates to between men and women, I was astounded by how that was different than, than either what I was told, what I see in TV and media. But again, I was inspired to do this video because I often get asked that all the time. And, you know, I always thought growing up that I would, you know, have the, the all-American dream, right? The, uh, you know, the, the pretty wife, the good job, the two cars, the two to three kids, the white picket fence, the 30-year mortgage. And... <clears throat> You know, it wasn't all that long ago that that, that ideal started to kind of disappear and it, and it started to become less of a reality. Um, I'm, I'm now understanding that to be really what we're all spoon fed and the things that, you know, we're taught at a young age or we see at a young age in um, different, different mediums. And it's, it's kind of the ideal that most of us have in our head. And, you know, if, if, if marriage for men, I mean, just at, at, a core, at, at our core, it goes against who, who we're wired to be, right? So uh, what I mean by that is, you know, men are, are wired to, uh, they're really built to, to spread their seed, right? They're, they're um, the very common denominator of what we are is uh, to, to provide uh, and to, uh, you know, basically let our sperm fly. I mean, that's, that's, let's just call it what it is. Uh, and women are the opposite. You know, we're, it's why we're, we're, we're attracted and why we want so many different kinds of women, why we're drawn to different kinds of women, why we're attracted to a lot of different kinds of women, uh, where women are the opposite. They're actually wired, uh, to seek out and be with 
and have a lot of sex with one man. So that's where fundamentally we are, we are very different at our core. And marriage is, is something that appeals and is something that is more fit for women. Um, it's, the, it's the way that we govern family law. It's the way that, you know, they do a lot of TV shows. It's the way a lot of the things that I grew up watching in movies, in music. I mean, so many things I'm now realizing are all designed to uh, create a narrative or, or, or to create a view of the fact that, that men have it substantially better and are doing so much better uh, between the two genders than that of women. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to share some, some stats with you here. And I think a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked. I certainly was. Um, I've done you know, a fair bit of research and um, watched a couple of documentaries about the topic. And I feel like these stats here are, are ones that really stand out and they're ones that are, are very credible. Um, I'll link the documentary that they come from uh, in the show notes below. But when, when you hear these things and when I first heard them, you know, I, I really thought like, okay, when I was growing up, I thought that things were going to be a certain way. And I found out that, the, like most of us do, that the world and in particular women uh, are, are wired in such a way where basically they want it all. Uh, that's why they're very indecisive. Uh, it's why, you know, they kind of don't need to have a valid excuse or can kind of just give the reason, oh, it just happened. I didn't mean to cheat on you, um, you know, or I didn't mean to, to, to sleep around. Um, I didn't mean to go, you know, step out of the marriage. Um, that's really what guys are more inclined to do. That's just how guys are more wired to do. And, you know, even though... From a moral perspective, when a man steps out of a relationship or he cheats, you know, a lot of people, because of, from a moral standpoint, will look at that and say, oh, he's, he's a jerk, he's a pig, he's a liar, he's a cheat, whatever. Well, what often happens is that that guy actually lives more in abundance and, you know, it's his wife who actually provides a lot more of that abundance or his significant other. Um, you'd think that it would be the opposite, but it's because, you know, She's wired to be with the one man and because he's exercising where his roots are, which is I'm going to explore, I'm going to spread my seed, that causes her to want to, you know, reduce that strength and actually, you know, kind of hold him down or to fucking drag him to the altar. So, you know, as I go through these, I can now understand why men want to go their own way. Um, when I learned about kind of the female nature, I was really, when I took the red pill, uh, which that, that comes from the matrix, by the way, that's, uh, uh, if you, if you've seen the matrix, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a part of it that, you know, is, is really centered around understanding what female nature is. And then beyond that, beyond learning is, is accepting it because there is a, a lot of bitterness. I know I was. Um, I still kind of wrestle with it a little bit, but it's it's what I'm now understanding the world and women to be like, and I don't I don't like it. Um, I I really wrestle with it. It really bothers me. Um, I'm human. I make mistakes. I I fail, and there are a lot of times where I don't feel like I'm operating at my highest and I'm not doing my best. I'm I'm typically hard on myself, uh, which you know that can have its drawbacks, but. When I now understand that it's those very things, if I'm not constantly operating at my top level, that it's those very things that just allows a woman to make a, a, a uh, sort of a, 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 an excuse that like, oh, it just happened, I didn't mean to, and then kind of use plausible deniability to say, oh, you know, I, I don't know, or I just basically deny it. Um, really have no logical excuse for it. Caught up in the moment, you know, it's just, or they're just never going to take any responsibility for it. It's just not how they are. So, you know, I understand why guys want to go their own way. There's a lot for guys to lose. And there's a lot that we don't know about what affects us. 
all we're fed in social media and TV is that we have it better, we get paid better, we get, you know, more of the rights, we have, you know, a lot more opportunity, um, and, you know, we just fundamentally and, and actually have it better in so many other ways. And that's fucking bullshit because it's actually not true. Um, and I, again, I'm not here to, to project what I think that, that you should believe, um, but I think it's important that, that we as men understand that the world that we're surrounded by and the things that we're spoon fed uh, do not always align with the facts because facts you cannot deny. And I'll share some facts with you today uh, that I think will really open your eyes and how these facts affect men in a disproportionate way than they do for women. So let me begin at the top. All right, so workplace deaths. Men typically take on a higher risk job, right? Uh, that is why men have historically and continually get paid a higher amount uh, for the same job for women. We just, we're more expendable. Um, there's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and we just take on higher risk jobs, more construction jobs, engineering jobs, uh, you know, deep sea fucking diving or, uh, you know, underwater whatever the case may be. I mean, they're up on beams, they're high in the sky, they're fucking washing windows. I mean, you just don't see women doing that. They're higher risk jobs. So 93% of workplace deaths are men. Wow. Okay, so just based on, on pay alone, I have a 93% chance of, of dying more than that of the same job for a woman. Well, that... That's already a risk that I'm already taking and I'm, I'm happily to take. Um, and before I go on with the rest of these, I, I think that it would just be good for women to understand that like, you know, it's not, it, it's not that it's just all about keeping them or, or con keeping them small or condemning them. These are real facts that I think that I would appreciate some understanding around. And I think that that gets so lost because it's like, oh, you know, you're going to, I saw this week they were, you know, talking about all this stuff around men shouldn't make rules about what women do with abortion. You know, that's all over social media this week. We're not going to get into that, but I would just appreciate that, you know, at a larger scale, this is how, uh, how men are affected in, in, in work, in family courts, just in everything. So here's the next one. Well, the workplace fatality rate. So for every 5.8 deaths per 100,000, so basically six per, for 100, for every 100,000, okay? Now, for every 100,000 women, there's 0 0.06. So that's like a fraction of a person per 100,000. That's way fucking smaller. So you can't, de you can't deny that. That rate is so much substantially higher, okay? The next one, men die by suicide three and a half plus, three and a half percent, or actually 3.53 3 times more often than women. So again, men die by suicide 3.53 times more often than women. Okay, well, you know, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, who, who, who succumb to suicide and it's a very selfish act. You know, every, everybody's dealing with their own issues. I'm not here to, to, you know, to, to say that it's, it's right or wrong or that they shouldn't have done that. That's not, that's not my role here. Um, but we are three and a half more times likely the 3.5 times three more likely than women are. Okay. Then 73%. And this is a stat that has also grown since this was reported two years ago. So 73% of those 45,000 people per year that die, because again, that's the average, 45,000 people. 73% um, of that 45,000, I'm shitty at math, so I'm not gonna do that number, but 73% of that 45,000 is men. So there again, you have a lot of people that are just like, fuck it, I'm miserable, I don't stand a chance, I don't like this, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm at the helm of the courts, I'm at the helm of, of my wife, uh, I'm at the helm of, you know, how these women treat me, how they, 
uh, you know, clamor on and, and, and basically take me for all I'm worth. It's bullshit. Okay. So here's the next one. All right. This is, this is, this will really shock some people. Okay. So one in six men have been sexually abused or assaulted. Wow. That's not a number that you would hear it on, on CNN. Probably not something that you'd see on Dateline, but it is, it is the facts. And actually beyond that, one in four men in the US have experienced rape, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner in their lifetime. One in four. So, you know, call it what you will. I, I know that the stat for women is one in four women are battered, but for every one that one in four, she actually will go back and, and you know, oh, because it, I can save the guy, right? Just fucking drives me crazy. All right. So the next one is now there's a lot of resources and a lot of places and a lot of communities and shelters, a lot of places that women can go. That's all that we know. That's all that we're, we're fed. That's all that. You know, there's, there's tons of outlets for, for a gender that is already doing much better and is actually less in need of places to go because they're getting fucked over, in my opinion, okay? So there are two shelters. It, this is in 2016. There are two registered, two registered shelters for men that are specifically designed for men of domestic abuse. Now, that's two. What, what do you think the number for women is? It's over 2,000, and that number is growing astronomically. So two per 2,000. That means that if I've, if, if I've experienced domestic abuse, and it happens because a lot of the times, you know, they're gonna, uh, you know, e either the, the police, or the, the, the courts, they're gonna, they're gonna take her word over yours. It's just how things are. Um, in most states, I can't imagine that, it, you know, there would be one that it's not that way, but um, I'm, maybe there is. I'm, I'm not a government official. I don't know all that, shot, all that shit. But I'm smart enough to know that two per 2,000 is fucking way off. Like, that's crazy. I've talked about, you know, men needing more community, men needing more tribes, more brotherhood, uh, and there's two, two places per 2,000. My God. Um, we don't have any outlets, but yet we get taken for everything that we're all, that, that, um, that, that we own or taking for everything that, uh, we've worked for once we sign that contract. Um, it's just, it's sad. It really is. So I, yeah, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to go my own way, protect my own assets. I'm not going to get involved in that bullshit. Next one. Men receive 63% more prison time compared to women convicted of the same crime. Wow. I'm sure it's not on here too, but I'm sure that there are less female designated prisons than there are prisons overall. That's maybe not uh, apples to apples, but you know, 63% more prison time. Fuck that right there tells you that even though it, it might not be an actual violent crime, you can see that we let women off the hook way easier, 63% of the time more than we do for, for the same crime or the same bullshit, really. It's insane. All right, so here's the next one. 100 plus infants die, boy infants, die of circumcision every year. Okay, well, you know, that's about one third of men globally. And, you know, that doesn't include the people that actually have issues from a successful or uh, uh, like the trauma that comes from it. Um, circumcision, I think, you know, if you do some cognitive work, you can kind of trace things back to that being a one of the most painful, one of the most traumatic things that happens. I mean, those memories are buried or locked down somewhere. I mean, those don't just disappear. Um, you know, it's 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 crazy. So. The next one here, only one in six of custodial parents, so this is family courts here, this is where we really get fucked over. 
Okay, so only one in six of custodial parents are fathers. So, you know, throughout extreme, uh, or throughout, you know, after feminism, and then, you know, now we're into extreme feminism, you know, men were removed from the picture. Oh, you know, single mothers, I can do this, it's fine. Um, to probably, you know, had a couple of different uh, dads in her, in her, um, in her child or in, in her children, but we, that's, that's not the issue. We forget that. Uh, we, we don't pay attention to that. We don't see the stat on that. Um, one in six are custodial parents. That means that men for every six times that we go into court, uh, for, for custody, we get fucked over six times per, per, per chance. I mean, you know, that's just, it's 70, 17.5, 17 and a half percent of the time men get custody. 82 and a half percent of the time women get it. That could, she could be sleeping around doing drugs, but you know, it's, that's where we really get, really get fucked over in my opinion. More than one in fathers with children, 18 or younger, live apart from their children. So you know, even if they're still together, men, one in four of them are, you know, if they have, they, they actually live apart. They're like, they're separated. You know, we just, they, women, they just, they just berate guys and they just, you know, so that you now we can't even be in our own house anymore. All right. So here's a little military fact. 99% of all military deaths are male. Again, here we're back to front lines, more risk. And again, that's that, that's on us. Like we we assume that. that that's what we should do. That, but you can't deny the facts. Uh, some appreciation for the fact that that's what we are doing. We're it, it's a sacrificial, it's a it's a sacrificial role that we have, and to the extent that that gets overlooked, and after serving on the front lines or taking care of handling shit all day that we gotta then come home and deal with that same kind of BS and testing and um, constant berating and uh, you're not doing enough and, and falling short, fuck that. Like, this is where men likely get fed up because they didn't get it right in court, they can't stand the constant testing. So, unfortunately, some of the same people probably off themselves and that's very sad, but it's very true. Guys just get so frustrated because we just, we've let women get away with all kinds of BS all, all over the years. All right. And, you know, there's some other ones on here. But I, again, I, I don't do this video to project my frustration. And you can, you can clearly see that I get, you know, a little bit worked up here. But I don't do these videos to, to make up your mind. You should do what you want to do. But before you, you know, go down the path of thinking that, oh, it's a white picket fence, it's, it's what I always thought it was, just don't get wrapped up in because she's got nice tits and ass. It's, it's hard because it's how we're wired. But, you know, I wrestle with it too. It, it's just something that we need to be aware of because if, if we're not aware of it, if we're not chasing our own, if we're not chasing ex excellence as men on our own, we're going to fall into these traps. And... Here in 25, 30, 40, 50 years, we're in no better shape than we were when, you know, these facts came out. And my goal, and I, I know I'm not the only one, is for us to be better than that. For us to shift things. And for men to be in a place of abundance. To be working on and pursuing excellence on their own. And if that means that they have to do it on their own, great. You know, we're not wired to, to be tied down. That's just not how we're wired. Um, I hope that we can get back to that. And I'm hoping to ask for your help. I'd love your help in that endeavor. So please do share your comments. I love to hear what you guys are going through and um, you guys sharing your journey. I really do appreciate that. Please let me know what you think. Like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good contributor or would value from our content. We are building community here, so I do deeply appreciate you doing that for us. Again, Go your own way if it's what you have to do, but chase excellence and don't let anybody tear you down. Cheers, fellas. Thank you for joining me today.